Hello everyone, now this is a presentation on the Pharmacy or EL Situational Judgment Test Assessment. Just a quick introduction, I am a pharmacist that has sat the exam and I am willing to share with you key tips and practical advice that helped me and also provide you with advice on how to navigate your way through the various questions that will be thrown at you on the SJT. So what is Oriel? So for those of you who are not aware, Oriel is an England and Wales recruitment system for pre-registration pharmacist training. Now there are three assessments. We have the multiple mini interviews, also known as MMIs, the situational judgment tests, SJTs, and calculations. Now overall, the scores from each assessment are combined to give each candidate an overall score. Now, this will determine the overall rank a candidate will receive which is then used to allocate candidates onto their preferred training program. So the idea is the higher the candidate's ranks, the greater the chance of the candidate landing their first choice. So the SJT contains 52 questions with an exam duration of 104 minutes. Now the exam assesses your decision-making skills and there are two question types. One being choosing the best three out of eight options and the other being a ranking style question which requires each option to be ranked accordingly. The professional attribute framework is probably one of the most important documents you want to learn guys. So make sure you spend time and learn the framework because each question can be mapped to the framework attributes. So knowing the framework inside out is handy if you become stuck during the exam as you can link back to the framework to help you break down the question. Now here are the nine attributes which are expected from a pre-registration pharmacist. So for further detail, just click the link below to get an in-depth explanation on what each attribute means. So for the Oriel's SJT, there are limited practice questions out there, but I have managed to find some decent resources for you guys to use. Now, answering as many SJT questions is a great way to familiarize yourself with the exam style and also a way to understand the reasoning behind decision making. Now, for a pharmacy specific pre-registration question bank, uh, the Pharmacy Situational Judgment Test is an ideal guide. Um, it provides useful tips for the exam and answers are provided with rationales, which I have linked below. Now, some other resources includes Example Pharmacy SJT Questions, which can be found on the NHS England Student Zone. Um, also useful are Foundation Year Medics and Dentist SJT questions, um, which can be useful to gain further exposure on SJTs, which are based around training healthcare professionals. And this can be useful for you to relate back to yourself as a pre-registration pharmacist. Now I have included links below on some of the examples for you guys to use. I would also recommend you read some areas in the MEP to help you gain a better understanding of ethical considerations required as a pre-registration pharmacist. There are certain key areas which I would recommend. Um, this includes the patient-centered care section, professionalism, confidentiality and safeguarding. Now, this does not mean you will need to memorize these passages of these areas, but it will give you a better understanding of how to handle scenarios which will require ethical reasoning. Now, probably the most important point of the exam is patient safety. So when it comes to answering questions, always remember patient safety first. So when making decisions, think about how your actions will affect the patient involved. Um, anything which could potentially lead to patient harm, just avoid. So another major point is to know your limitations. Now, you don't do anything beyond a pre-registration pharmacist competency. That is important. So this means avoiding taking actions you are not trained for, but also refer to others that are qualified. So it's important to know when to refer, but also you need to know when you do not need to refer. So some general advice is remember, the exam is not assessing your clinical abilities, but your decision-making skills. So I'll strongly advise you answer as many practice questions for assessment familiarity, and it'll also help you build confidence. 
Now, timing is very important for this exam, guys. So there are 52 questions which need to be answered in 104 minutes. This works out at about two minutes per question. Now, it may seem like a lot of time, but trust me, from my experience, you do not want to be wasting any time. So I recommend you have time checkpoints to help you keep track of time during the exam. So for example, after 10 minutes, you need to be on question five at least. So referring back to the time and the question will help you stay on track and will allow you to complete all questions within the given time frame. Now, my last piece of advice, as cliche as it sounds, but get some rest. Trust me, you do not want to be tired for this assessment. It can be mentally demanding, so make sure you sleep well and of course eat well. But most importantly, stay calm because calmness within yourself will allow you to be able to think clearly and make the best decisions. So that's all from me. Hopefully this has been helpful and I wish you all good luck for the SJT and the other assessments. My final points are prepare well for the exam, answer as many questions as you can. For example, use the pharmacy situational judgment test book, look at other healthcare professions questions and hopefully you smash the SJT as well.